Howdy folks, High Value DMD. Don't just give me your subscription, but please let me earn it. Let me earn your like and let me earn your comment. This is a channel update in this video. It's a big one, actually. If you don't know who I am, I'll be graduating as a dentist June 2nd. On this channel, I like to talk about things such as career, dating, relationships, things of that nature. Well, I like I said, I'll be graduating soon. I'll be finally making a check. and. I bought a car. I've been talking for months, months and months, a little bit here and there about buying a car, and I successfully did buy the car. And you may be asking, hey, why isn't it in the video? Where is it? Well, the truth is, since I'm still in dental school, I don't have an income. So I'm not able to buy a car on my own. Now, I have saved some money, so I have the money for the car. My parents bought it in their name. They signed on it, and for some odd reason from the credit union, I couldn't even be on the paperwork at all. I don't know. Don't shoot the messenger, right? It is a really weird situation, but my parents bought it, and I'm just going to be making the payments, and I'm paying the insurance. I'm, it's my car, but it's you know they're the ones that are on it. So it's actually back home where they are, and so I'm several states away. And so I'm going to swap cars back with them when the time comes sometime this summer. Uh, so what did I buy? I bought a two th what was it? A 2022 Chrysler Pacifica Touring L in white. And yeah, I bought a minivan. <laughs> that's that's what I did. I'm a 27-year-old man who's about to be a doctor and I'm going to be driving a swagger wagon as they say. Why on earth did you do something like that? Why didn't you go get a Mercedes, BMW, an Audi? Come on, man. You got to be driving a Beamer, at least a Lexus, right? Lexus, Acura, yeah, they're not German luxury, but well, I've been thinking a lot about this decision and it wasn't one I made lightly. So I, I'm not really, I'm not really the typical person. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of weird in some ways, but I travel a lot. I drive a lot. Uh, I mean, a lot during dental school. I've gone on a lot of trips up the East Coast. So that's something I like to do, and I like to camp out. I've urban camped. I've stealth camped, and, and so I've saved a lot of money on hotels. Most of my money I've just spent on gas. I actually have a fridge and everything in my car, and I just take my food with me. So a big reason was for travel, for travel, having plenty of space and being able to stretch out in there and just carry stuff. Uh, that's point two, but traveling and, and camping. That's point number one. Point number two would be hauling stuff. For instance, I've had to move several times, and I foresee myself having to move more in the future. And having a vehicle that has plenty of space to be able to throw a couch in there or a chair or several things like that and not have to worry about it, that's big. And the current crossover SUV I'm in, I drive a Ford Edge. It's just not big enough for what I need, right? This will have three rows as well. I don't anticipate maybe once in a year when people come visit, we'll go on a ski trip or something. Then I might need the three rows. But, yeah, it's... You know, and it's convenient. It was a cheap car. Cars are expensive, folks. And just because I'm a doctor, hey, one of my professors puts it best. He says, you, what does he say? He says, you have earned the right to earn it. Okay, you haven't earned the right to have anything, but you've earned the right to go and earn it. So I'm getting my doctor. I'm going to make a strong salary, right? But that doesn't mean that I automatically am entitled to an M3 competition package Beamer, which I love. Hey, trust me. I love cars. I love cars. Alfa Romeo. Those are awesome cars. I would love to get a cool car. I was looking at C6 Corvettes for a long time, and I've been looking at C7 Corvettes. I love cars and I want a nice car, but there's priorities, right? 
for the aforementioned reasons, I needed a bigger car. And this car was cheap. S simple fact. Like, I want to save a lot of money because I, I have all these things I want, but I also have goals in mind. I, I want to retire one day earlier rather than later, or at least have the ability to retire. I'll still probably be doing dentistry far into the future, but I don't want to have to show up to the office to pay a bunch of bills off. I want to be able to retire and walk away earlier. Right now, I'm going to prioritize other things such as trips or activities. I'm going to go skiing, looking at white water rafting. I want to get a, a bow. I want to go bow hunt. I want a 308 rifle. I want to go deer hunt and stuff. So I'm going to buy those things rather than buying a $40,000, $50,000 SUV or what I really wanted was a Chevrolet Suburban Z71. I've always wanted a Chevy Silverado. In, in recent years, I've wanted a Suburban. That's the car I really wanted with an exhaust, a loud exhaust. But it's too expensive, man. I don't want to pay $1,000, $1,100 a month. I absolutely could. I could pay for that car, but I don't want to. I'd rather, I'd rather have this cheap car and be able just to splurge on things other than just the car and it not hurt me as much. Because if I'm paying a $1,000 car payment into a Chevy Suburban and then that insurance payment, then I'm going to cringe a little bit if I want to buy that bow and arrow or if I want to go on that whitewater kayaking trip I want to do. Or, you know, if I want to pay for my fiance's flights to come visit me or go visit her. I don't want to have to worry, you know, that because it's because I, you know, I, I want to live in a modest apartment, have a modest transportation and, and spend money on other things. Just makes sense to me. And um, on, on the subject of, of transporting things, a big reason why I also got the van was because I want to try to transport a motorcycle. And I don't think I'm going to have a garage at my next place. I didn't want to do a hitch carrier because I've read issues with those. I didn't want to get a trailer. I didn't want to register a trailer, have to maintain a trailer. I didn't want to do anything like that. So I'm hopeful that the van will be able to fit a certain motorcycle that I want. So yeah, I'm going to be in a swagger wagon. And when you guys see it, I'll be out west. Be far out west. Uh, right now I'm on the east coast, but so I, I, I won't be able to show you guys for a while. And um, so yeah, um, I'll also do some channel updates while I'm talking about this video. How, my vision for this channel is essentially just chronicling my journey as a young professional, becoming a dentist, things like that. But I also share my opinions on this channel about th certain things, um, maybe certain religion or political th slants I like to get into. But I would love to start showing more of my travels. And I know there's a million travel vlogs out there, but I, I'm considering maybe getting a GoPro and doing some driving videos or just showing you more of an everyday life side sort of thing uh, not every day in my clinic per se but just my weekend trips or the adventures that i go on so i would really love to do that moving forward that's sort of the next phase of the channel i'm picturing i could probably start off with that stuff maybe in august when i get settled in my next location <clears throat> and also i will i'm still continuing to chase specialty training it you know, the, the path that I'm going in, and I'm sure some of you will pick up on this eventually, but I, for anonymity's sake, I'm trying to keep things a little bit private, hence the mask and all that. But I, I, I already knew that I wasn't going to be able to start specialty training immediately. Specialty training for me is a little ways off, and I wasn't selected this time around for specialty training, but... I'm going to continue going after specialty training, particular oral surgery. It's a huge passion for me and the income is great and I love the medicine behind it and the anesthesia behind it and it's what I want to do. So I'm still going to chase after that. I'm going to apply again this summer, but 
currently I'm just trying to enjoy where I'm at because this is, I guess, maybe the last bit of my youth that is passing by. So I think it might be a blessing that I didn't get into oral surgery right away. Um, my start date would have been a little later anyway, but if I can just pace this out a little bit, enjoy where I'm at, enjoy this newfound bit of income I'll have and go enjoy these hobbies I want to do, right? Get those ski trips in and, and, and also plan my wedding and try to figure out that part of my life as well. So st I still want to do specialty training and it's going to happen in one way or another. I'm going to end up doing that side of things of what I love. So yeah, traveling and that's an update about my, my career status. Another part of the channel I'd love to show you is just the things that I, I acquire or the things that, that yeah, I mean, like I, I'd like to show you more of the clothes I want to buy, the stuff I want to buy, do, do reviews on maybe the guns I, I use, the bow and arrow I want to buy, stuff like that. And it, it, this, that, that's kind of getting all over the place as far as genre, but I want you to see maybe what my perspective is as a young dentist and just kind of what I what I like to do so anyway that's that I suppose that does it for this video and I'm super super excited to get my swagger wagon I, I need to find a name for it my parents are going to pick it up today and take it back to their place and I also got to figure out some modifications for it and I'll probably include those in the future videos I want to put a solar panel on it and all that stuff and yeah I know maybe I'm I'm a total Looney Tunes type of guy, but hey, I think it'll be super fun, and I don't care what other people think. You know, it's it's fun, it's utilitarian, it's cheap, it's affordable. So that's that's why I'm getting into the van game. Hey, and, and you know what? It doesn't mean this is just a temporary thing. It doesn't mean that I won't get that Chevy Suburban. It doesn't mean I'll never drive a Corvette. It doesn't mean those things. But right now, I'm trying to be practical, save for a future home. And also I'm thinking about the people in my life that have put me where I am about to be. And maybe the things I want to buy them. Maybe I would rather buy my own father a Corvette before I bought myself a Corvette. And I don't make, I'm not gonna make that much money this first year out to do those things because there's a lot of big life priorities that are about to punch me in the chest as far as getting married and future living situation there but hey one can dream right and I think the Lord will bless me to be able to bless other people but yeah just keeping it practical and, and, and doing my thing so if you like this video I hope I earned your subscription I hope I earned your like and I hope I earned your comment please let me know what you think below do you think the minivan is a good idea do you think it's a bad idea what would you get if you were going to be a new young doctor at the ripe old age of 27 years old Probably not a minivan, right? Hey, just let me know in the comments below.